an ethereal or I can uh, put a bunch of ED attack speed jewels in it. One way or the other. There are multiple ways to achieve the same result. I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken camp. You can watch this, we're gonna murder her. This is going to be our murdering. Yeah, Wolf Barb's dead. I don't even need a refresh. The Wolf Barb is dead. Unplayable character. Unplayable. 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 I'll put a U for unplayable on the, uh, on my spreadsheet. It's not for Ubers or anything, it's it's for unplayable. <laughs> unplayable. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna spam wolves, wolves. <laughs> okay, this is this is good. They're gonna die in one second. Can't trap Diablo in a house anymore. So janky. <laughs> I'm gonna die in one shot. Oh, never mind. He didn't do it, the attack. I'm too strong! Afternoon. So you can actually choose to go back to town and remove the lower res now, too. That's kind of nice. So you don't have to, like, wait it out anymore. Just thought about that. That's pretty annoying. That's a pretty annoying aspect of it. Sometimes you just get lower resed on the edge of the screen. Where's my amp area? Oh my god. Ah. I also revive the nurse rooms. I don't know guys, I think the wolf burb's dead. Can't play it anymore guys. Reds suck though. Well, Diablo, I need some sword, but I don't care because it's more fun just to use the wolf barb. Insane damage, insane. It's insane damage. Clearly incapable of doing damage. Clearly incapable. Alright, let's do some more tests on it, actually. I feel like uh, the map tests are incomplete. I want to get some uh, better numbers. I think we can. It's yes. arguably better, if not just as good. Yeah, I, I, I think it's better, personally, because... Think about it, you get the faster run walk and you get the leech. Losing the leech in the faster run walk was actually like really shit if you think about it. Yeah. Like I was saying that to the chat, I'm like, the thing I hated about the wolf barb when they took out Feral Rage is that Like like Fury gets you stuck in an animation too, so like now Now you have all of the good defensive and the mobility aspects. And the offensive aspects are similar. Maybe not quite as high damage, but it's pretty similar. It's not a lot. It... This is a, this is a good change to test here. I can't carry anymore. 
This is a good itemization change to test. I mean, I highlighted a couple of items that really were big impact items, and so we're testing builds based on that, right? And this is one of them. Wolf Howl's definitely a big impact item, right? If you, like, switch Fury to Feral Rage, that's pretty big. Afternoon. Definitely, uh really hits the build hard, no matter how you look at it. The wolf barb is dead. It's dead, chat. It's dead. Can't play it anymore. It's, it's garbage. Done playing this build, man. It's totally gar garbage you. It's garbage you. It's the garbage you. Mm. Hmm, that's interesting. If I do this, you think we're gonna get higher? I think so too. All right, two thirty. Holy crap, that's a lot stronger already. stuck on that. Do you guys think Odium is good for Fury Druid as well? What do you guys think the best Fury Druid weapons are at the moment? I like how you don't have to refresh Feral Rage, because it's always refreshing as well, so you don't ever have to like switch skills. Hellslayer. What about Barisa? Six Shield Hellslayer. What about Odium? Slayer, huh? Reapers? Mm, I think the IS is lacking for that, honestly. Barissa is good. I tried Wind Hammer. Oh, yeah, if I slammed Reefers, that would be pretty insane. Some pretty cool item ideas here. <laughs> Wait, what was our start time on this map? Is it like two forty five or something? 
I think so. So end time is 6.30. Need to get our start time though. I totally forgot, fortunately. I'll retrieve it, just a second. Uh... It's 2.30, okay. So if we ended on 6.30, it's 4. Okay. 35,822 minus 35,193 times 2 divided by 4 times 0.9. Hmm. Gotta get that 0.9 in there. The density factor is increased. 283, that sounds about right. 283 over 116, okay. Mm. Mm. I wanna see what damage numbers I get with, uh... Let's see, so if I have... Consistent damage is always a hallmark of a good melee build, anyway. I am overburdened. <laughs> I'm swiping the air. Damage is quite a bit lower with Windhammer, though, honestly. <laughs> really, Comatess? Oh, man. Does there exist a tier list? Mm, there exists a data sheet at the moment. There will be a tier list based on the data sheet. Yes. You get a staff for me? A staff? I don't want the- I don't like the twisters, it's a meme. People always want me to do the twisters and it's not stronger. It just looks cool. <sighs> I swear. I like the twisters though. So. Wait, what do you mean by a staff? Like, what staff would I be using? Wait, what- what staff am I using? Frost Nova on casting? How much- what level Frost Nova on casting? What? Oh man, when I get to the Sork, I'm gonna want to use that. Oh, that's crazy. The hell? Alright, I'm just gonna test one more thing here. I kinda just wanna see how this does in cows. I want a cow I want a cow number for wolf barb to some extent here. Uh 
I want a cow number. I want a cow number. Rib cracker? What about rib cracker? Oh, is he talking about rib cracker? But can you actually make rib cracker any good, or is that just gonna be a meme? How the hell am I make rib cracker any good? No, I think he might have made a rare staff, actually. Hmm. Obsession change. Yeah, they did. Do you see that obsession change doing anything or no? I saw that change and I'm pretty sure it doesn't increase the radius of weakens, so that wouldn't affect Curse Necker at least, which is what I use for that. I think that's more of just like a, a change for people that want to play more defensive. Or in the Discord. I don't really care to test the obsession change, but I, I'll take their word for it that it's going to help the uh, defensiveness of it. it. Doesn't seem like it's going to do something huge, though. I don't think that's that that that's not one of the ones I flagged. I remember seeing that one, and I was like, "Oh, that one's okay. That's kind of cool." I flagged the changes like Wolf Howl and uh, you know some other ones. Like, uh, Metal Grid. Some of those could be pretty big. Alright, last Wolf Barb test, and then, um... I think the next priority should probably to get on the Druid and retest Arctic Blast. Good afternoon. And maybe do a retest of a couple more skills. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll check that out. Mm -mm -mm. No. 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 All right, two forty five, go. You know, this is a bosser, but you know. Who needs Fury, man? Feral Rage is where it's at. Now that it has Feral Rage again, it's a lot more like the uh, LOD one again. LOD Wolf Owl. We've gone full circle. I gotta say that the Fury Druid is... A lot stronger in maps, though. Makes sense, though. <laughs> I was talking earlier about how it's ironic how I mistakenly thought that they left the Feral Rage on it instead of the Fury, and Chat was telling me that it was the Fury that was on it. And they end up doing exactly what I said. So I was right. I was just right two days into the future. It's amazing. You ever been right two days into the future? I feel like it's OP. I had clairvoyance on this one for sure. You saw what I did to the Uber bosses, like it's its main function seems to be perfectly alive to me. I don't know anything about that.
what build Showtime. Well, this build's definitely not that good for mapping. Definitely not. The Uber bossing? Oh, yeah. Still, like, one of the best. Do these numbers look like A tier to you? It's not that best. It's not that best. It's not that fast. Alright, 36,869 minus 35,840. Uh, divided by 3 times 0.9. Yeah, it's definitely not a super impressive mapper, but it still can map. I think it still succeeds. I think it I think it exceeds the smite test to some degree. It was so bad before, man. It was so bad. 308 over 118. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, so hmm. <laughs> All right, new class, new everything. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the war cry, uh, flame double flame bellow, elemental whirlwind barb, the retest of stone crushers, and the wolf barb. We will now be moving on to the druid where we have to retest arctic blast summon druid this is going to include metal grid on the summon druid very important test coming up here and i'll retest poison creeper as well because i have an idea and it's that simple Uh, it failed it. You know, actually, Concentration Barb, I think, was about as fast as Smite. But it looked really clunky. You need a really strong weapon, though. Otherwise, no. And to be fair, for, like, if you're going to use a really strong weapon for that, and you're getting only that much power... That's probably pretty dumb. <clears throat> That's all I'm going to say about that. It's pretty f dumb. Alright, so we got to use the new metal grid. Neo metal grid. He makes a really fun sound when he hits things. He goes, hurrah, 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 hurrah. I mean, you can watch the VOD if you want, you know, the, the last VOD. Towards the end we, uh, we, of the, the barb testing and the uh, last VOD, we go, hurrah, 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 hurrah. It's fucking great.